November 6th, 2038. 302, chicken feed. Oh, hi, Hank. Welcome back, friends, to more Detroit. Become human. Hank is warm. Oh, wait, but he was trusted before. That's, I was very upset with uh, how all that went. Okay, let's, uh, let's go talk to him, I guess. Let's, let's figure out what we're doing. We're here at a chicken place. What have we got going on? We got Anderson over there. And that is all. All right. A shit hot. Lickety split. There's nothing I can do over here. No? Okay. All right. Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. Hello, Pedro. This is different. It's 100% guaranteed. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with 100% guaranteed. Scan. Can I scan? It said R R2 to scan. Oh, there we go. There we go. Up, up. Oh. Gary Kays. Okay, 1988. There we go. Resisting arrest. Woof. All right. What else we got? I thought, okay. Um, Hank Anderson. Criminal record, none. Look how sweet he looks in his picture. So clean cut. All right. Let's see, can I scan you? Hello, Pedro. Pedro, born in 2005. All right, legal gambling and fraud. Is there anything else I can look at? I don't think so. You know me. You know I gotta look everywhere I can. Not saying anything else to scan. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. What was that on his hand? Was that, um, fake fingers? Did he need a new hand? Okay. Hi, Hank. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. That's canon now. Connor's a poodle. Um... Apologize. I want him to like me. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? I mean, it did make his thingy go up. I meant that in a non dirty way. You Thank go. you. Scan. Must scan everything. A hamburger. How lovely. Ooh, now I want a hamburger. Can I can I scan anything else? Ooh. And extra large soda. But it's not telling me what kind of soda. So Connor, you're slipping. Just saying. Okay, I don't think I can scan anything else. I'm not gonna worry. Uh, thanks, Gary. I'm starting. Can I, I order something? Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. I can I order something? L1. Ooh, hockey. Very nice. Good job. Good job, everyone. Play game. Sports go sports. Athletics are number one. Participants are heroes. Go team, yeah. Okay. Nothing else to do over here, I guess. Hello, can I have a bite of your hamburger, please? It looks very good. Actually, it doesn't. I'm lying. Um... Start at the top, then gambling. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. I'm not doing good, am I? That's not a good thing to. Ha oh, he didn't seem to mind. Uh, cholesterol. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Or he's got to die of something. That's true. He likes me a little more now, though. Um, highway. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. 
You like me. I'm your partner. Okay, about me. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Uh, Hank and androids. What's Can up I ask with this? A personal question, Lieutenant. Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Okay. Okay. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. I don't know. It seems like they're feeling emotions yeah, pretty heavily to me. Us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? <gasps> a few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Oh, that first episode was so me. stressful. So stressful. Um, oh crap. Truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and... Okay. You spend a lot of time in bars. It's true, he does. So what's your conclusion? Um, sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <gasps> oh my god! I winked and I it just said got a friend. Of a suspected deviant. <laughs> can a few blocks can they fall in love? I would like that, please. I'll let you finish your meal. Okay, first of all, I didn't properly acknowledge the fact that Hank called Connor funny looking, and I live for that. Um, number two, this is exactly the kind of buddy cop situation I want to happen between the two of them. Hey, number three, the fact that they're friends now yeah, gives me all sorts of light, life. life. I'm so excited. I'm so excited right now, guys. Okay. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. Give me the buddy cop How dynamic. This guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor <gasps> reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. This floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey, were you Analyze. really making a report back there in the... Feathers, rock pigeon. Elevator, just by closing your eyes? Correct. Is there anything else I can look at? There's the door. Anything else that I'm missing? I don't see anything. Shit. Huh? I wish I could do that. Wouldn't it be nice if all paperwork could be done that easily, dude? All right, well, let's knock on this door. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Knock, knock. Anybody Hello? Home? Open up, Detroit police. Stay behind me. Got it. Oh, no. Anything in here? Read. Ooh, Detroit today. Red ice epidemic. The latest narcotic craze to ravage Detroit. Let's see. 
Uh, this synthetic stimulant, informally known as red ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. An analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting the drug flourishes and the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids. As CyberLife's androids spread across the country, they'll bring red ice with them, poor men and women, desperate to make ends meet, are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Therium, the main ingredient in Android Blue Blood, is among the active agents in red ice and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association for Narcotic Prevention uh, say the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red ice dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto, where the blood is blue, the ice is red, and the money is green. Oh, man. If Ethereum is a, an ingredient, I wonder if any androids use this. Okay. Green Earth, past the tipping point. Earth's environment officially beyond repair. <gasps> Bees officially extinct, okay. Environmentalists have long warned us about a tipping point, the moment at which global warming reaches a level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we have officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% since 2000, and the coastal corals by 58%. Polar ice has melted to such an extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep the water out of coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there is now too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Jason Rees, head of the Global Environment Agency, said, This study confirms what many of us have sp suspected for a long time, but the real calamity is the linked decline of natural resources from energies to minerals, which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticized Rees's comments as discouraging people from taking action, but Rees has defied these criticisms. It's important people accept the reality of the situation. The planet will keep getting hotter now. The only question is, how fast? Oh. Oh. Guys, this is too real. Okay, anything else in here? Just some designs on the wall. That's interesting. Okay. What else have we got? More designs out here. He's out there. Ah! What the fuck is this? Ah! Okay, anything in here? Look at! Jesus, this place stinks. Look at! What is it? Military jacket, secondhand, initials RT. RT? Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. What's in here? Oh, L1. RA9. What's in there? <gasps> Blue blood. Blue blood. Sample. Blue blood. Take. Fresh air. Okay. An LED. Okay. Its LED is in the sink. Suspect is a Not deviant. Surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Oh, one. All the RA9s. God damn it. What the hell is it? Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Wow. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Yeah. Looks like mazes or something. Mazes. Obsessive compulsive writing. What's down there? Analyze. What is it? Okay, there are two clues. Okay, analyze this one. Uh, an open marker pen. 
midnight mood. <laughs> okay. Um, used recently. Oh, okay. A wooden stool recently disturbed. Traces of avian fecal matter. All right. Reconstruct. Suspect was here recently. Oh. Suspect ran to the living room. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. We're gathering intel. We're figuring it out. Anything else I should know in here? I don't see anything. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Oh! Let's open the fridge. What's in here? Anything? Moldy food? Suspect doesn't eat. Well, because we already know they're a deviant. Or an android, anyway. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! Anything else I should be looking at? Analyze. Okay. What is it? Urban farm poster. Fields in the heart of the city. Okay. Anything else? Oh. Poster corner. Recently moved. Okay. Remove. <gasps> Take. What is it? It's a book. Let's read. Browse. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. <laughs> Electronic books, you can't. Found something? Smell the paper. I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Uh. Open. Open. Anything in here? This is all very fascinating. Birdseed. I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. Analyze. Okay. Finger marks recent. No fingerprints. Okay, that makes sense. Metal hook recently broken. Okay. What's this? Skid mark recent. Okay, so it must have fallen over maybe on the android's way out. Suspect ran toward the entrance. Okay. Um, suspect heard us enter. Suspect is still here. All right. We got this. Examine. We got this. We got this. We're going to find him now. Ah! Goddamn fucking pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it. Okay, I'm on my way. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've got to pay attention now, don't I? Ah! Square. Two. Oh, um, um, fast but risky. Shit. Um, crap. Crap. I don't know. Um, a uh, safer detour.
bit risky. He likes me a lot now, doesn't he? Hey, Connor. Nothing. What? Oh shit, guys, did I did I mess up? I saved Hank! Yay! Okay, 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 I'm not gonna worry about it. Because here's the thing, if he had fallen and that 11% chance had happened and he died, I would have been devastated. I mean, wait, that was survival chance, right? That's what it said? I mean, oh, I didn't even really process the fact that it said 89%. But still. Okay, I missed a lot of stuff. I could have done something else there and I knew it. Okay, talk to Hank. There's something else I could have done there, too. Be frank with Hank. Warn Hank about cholesterol. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. And then there was another lock that I've missed. Okay. Into the nest. Examine the feathers. Okay. I did all of that stuff with the RA9. Um, find LED. Find diary. But I there's something I didn't find there. Dang it. Okay. Find Rupert. Chase Rupert. Gaining on him. I did good, guys. I'm so proud of myself. Um, Rupert pushes Hank. And I saved Hank. But Rupert got away. Oh, I probably could have caught him. But I'm... Ah. Oh, ah. Oh. I'm not going to second guess myself. You did what seemed right to you in the moment, April. Oh, okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I can't wait for the next one. Oh, my God. I, this is going to come back to bite me later, and I can just feel it. It's like that in these games where choices matter. Like, you know, you can just feel. Like, oh, I did something dumb. Um, but I'm having so much fun. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. And I will see you all next time. Bye!